Hi, I'm Yasmin from Boat Around. Today we are here to explore the new Fontaine Peugeot Astrea 42. Astrea 42 has won European Yacht of the Year 2019 award in multi-hull category. Like her older sister Saona 47, Astrea 42 has already become the pride of French shipbuilder Fontaine Peugeot. One of Fontaine Peugeot's strengths is how attractive their boats are, both inside and outside. The overall design of this boat is very good. It is very comfortable catamaran. Astrea 42 is following simple and proven recipe, smart design, quality workmanship and many innovative features. Astrea 42 is a class elegant boat, ideal for cruising with family or friends and of course for fun parties in the marina or some bay. This boat is available in two versions, three cabin version and four cabin version. The helm position is the strength of this catamaran. It's divided into two areas, the helm seat area with the wheel and all electronics and in front of that the sailing area with all the winches and the ropes. That gives plenty of space for one person to helm and another to work with the sails. In case of single handling it's easy to turn on the autopilot because it is within the reach from sailing area. The helm seat is very comfortable for two person and it has a fiberglass barrier between the wheel and the side deck which makes it very safe. There is a great forward visibility. Backward visibility is slightly obstructed, so it can present a challenge for docking. Climbing a few steps up from the helm position, we get access to sun deck on flybridge, which is a great place for resting, reading, having a drink or just enjoying the view. Behind the main sail traveler, there are solar panels, which are standard part of the equipment on Astrea 42. Going forward and backward on the side deck could be quite tricky on the rougher sea state conditions because there is not enough handholds on the cabin roof and this is quite unsafe. On the bow of this boat there is U-shaped lounge area that can accommodate four people. There is also a net for those who likes to lay down and enjoy watching the sea. Under the seating in the lounge area we can find lockers. The access to them is very easy without removing the cushions, which is a very useful feature. In one of the lockers we can find anchor chain and in the other one there is a lot of place for spare ropes and a lot of other things. There is a nice detail on the bow of this boat, those two seatings, where you can enjoy your sailing time. There is no direct access to anchor because it is located under the net. The position of the life raft under the stairs leading to the helm area is not ideal. It's not easy to deploy it from here if it's needed. The cockpit table is very large and can accommodate eight people. We have to mention that the cushions are very soft and comfortable. On this boat you can also enjoy a large lounge area on the stern. In the cockpit area on Astarea 42 we can find two storage places where you can put all the provisioning you are bringing on the boat. Under the stern lounge area we can find another storage for other boat equipment. Nice feature that we can find on this boat is the window in the cockpit area. Access to the sea is very practical. We can find swimming ladders and after the swimming you can use the stern shower. On this boat we found the side tents which you can use in rainy weather or in the chilly evenings. On this boat we can find a place for gas under the seat in the cockpit.
The U-shaped kitchen and saloon area are beautifully laid out. Bright space with good ventilation and a glass doors that are connecting this area with the cockpit on the same level. Because dinette is outside, the interior seating is designed more like a lounge with a smaller table and angled navigation desk that shares the L-shaped seating. On this boat we can find fridge drawers next to the door. The double bolt sink is by the window and there are three burners stove. Also there is a big oven at the counter height which is very useful. On this boat we can find very interesting detail. A small window above the stove to ventilate the smells from the cooking. Two windows in front are helping ventilate the saloon area as we mentioned before and they are big enough to pass the drinks to the people in front. Under the kitchen surface we can find big freezer and a lot of drawers to store different things. On the port side stairs there are all the switches on the boat. The hulls on this boat are wide enough to allow island beds in all four cabins. We have to notice a lot of daylight in the cabin, but also only one bigger and one smaller window for ventilation, which could be a disadvantage. The storage space on this boat is quite decent. We have two side closets and one big drawer under the bed. We have to mention that every cabin on this boat has a toilet and they are particularly impressive, very spacious with a walk-in shower area. Hallway between two cabins could be a bit wider, but on the other side of the wall we have a spacious toilets. Also there is a closet in the hallway which is very practical. Front and back cabins are more or less the same size so there will be no discussion who will sleep where when you step on board. Unfortunately, this boat is not equipped with generator and air condition, so it can be hot in summer nights. But at least we can find fans in each cabin. So that would be it for today. We hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.